Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saki here, and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator in New Mexico. Uh, the workshop um, item that I was talking about crashing, it was updated, so we can see we are here at the Tesla dealer. Our current job is delivering uh, these car parts to, let me go ahead and zoom out, Carlsbad. So we're going to go leave Albuquerque, then we're going to head south through Roswell, down through Artesia, and end up in Carlsbad's. 318 miles. Should be a pretty good trip. It's 6.30 in the morning. Shouldn't have to worry about sleeping. We just did. Uh, the only concern that we may have is fuel. We have this gooseneck trailer behind us. Very tight getting out of here, but it looks like we'll make do. And we'll be passing a discoverable there on the right. It looks like a truck dealership. So more power to us. We can get on the road here and enjoy possibly a sunrise or an early morning here in New Mexico. And then we will, there's the sun, and we'll be able to uh, continue on. All right, we are good there. And away we go. The smallest journey begins with the smallest push of the gas, and there we go. Come on, turn signal, get off. But welcome back to American Truck Sim. This is the second delivery that we've done here in American Truck uh, for New Mexico. If you missed my first episode, feel free to go ahead and look earlier in the playlist. It will be in there for sure. And there we go, drive past this Peterbilt. Well, we're driving a Kenny. So more power to us. We did find a Peterbilt de dealer and we have a train. Okay. Where is said train? There you are. I kind of agree with Squirrel. The, uh, the freight trains, although cool, could stand to be just a little bit longer. But, no harm, no foul, let's go. The gates are open. A little bit of a detour to find that Peterbilt dealer, and you know what? He was coming from our way the closest, so we get to cross traffic before anyone else. Now, once we get to the main road, we may have some traffic to contend with, but no worries. There's the sun right in our face. The sun should be up here in a few hours, so I am not worried. And this looks to be the way we're going east, so the sun rises in the east, and that's where we're heading until we make our south turn down to Roswell. Maybe we'll pass that uh, alien statue that they have. There we go. Pass that alien statue they have at their city limit. That would be pretty cool. Sweet. We'll just get on the highway here, and away we go. Of course, we have a stoplight, but right turn on red and all that jazz. So we'll just make sure that no one is coming from the left side. Looks to be a pretty early morning run. So we shouldn't have to worry too much about traffic, at least for the next couple hours. Then once rush hour hits, of course, uh, we're going to be in the thick of it. But hopefully we'll be on the highway during that time. All right. Moving on over. We'll just ease on into it, and down we go. We should be getting into undiscovered territory fairly soon. We certainly haven't made a trip to Roswell. So once we get out of Albuquerque, um, we should be fine. One thing I noticed about this patch that's really cool is the arrows on the GPS point to the left, which means, hey, stay on the main road, do not exit. See how the arrows are pointing straight? That tells us to get into a lane that's going straight and not exiting. So that's pretty cool. It makes it a lot easier to navigate with your GPS. Here is this crazy uh, oh, interchange. That is nuts. I can just imagine what that interchange is like. Like in real life, if you are from Albuquerque or watching from Albuquerque, you can leave a comment below if you have ever gone by that interchange and what kind of headaches and traffic that you've had. And 
Yep, Louisiana Boulevard, this Crown Vic is getting off here. We're continuing on our merry way. I'm glad we're at 75 for the speed limit here, and now it's getting pretty bright out. I don't think we need our headlights. We'll go ahead and turn those off. School bus, yes, school is picking up at 7.10 in the morning. Kids might be out for an early field trip, who knows? But we should be leaving Albuquerque soon, and we are on brand new highway. We have not seen this before as indicated by our GPS. And isn't that cool on the horizon? There's a big mesa up there. I wonder if that is like a real thing, like a landmark from the area as you're driving down this highway and pokes up in the, the skyline like that. That'd be pretty cool. Looks like we're headed to a bit of a forested area as well. Usually when you think New Mexico, you might think desert, very Arizona-like, but it looks like New Mexico has a little bit of the a fertile land, a lot of trees and a lot of green. And as American Truck Sim expands east, I think the, well, once it gets to the Plain States, it may get into that old Dust Bowl, Oklahoma, Nebraska, all the uh, wheat fields, corn fields, that sort of thing. And the further east you go, the greener it may get until you get to New Jersey and New York City where it turns uh, smoggy. And that's one thing. Um, that American Truck Sim can do is sort of replicate the haze as you go through like a big city, especially like LA, or in the future, uh, Los Angeles or Chicago, or I mean New York or Chicago, you know, the sort of uh, hazy, smoggy big cities that you get accustomed to seeing. And I don't know why you're slowing down, Mr. Crane Man, but I ain't got time for you. Oh, it was like a, why would it go to a two lane there? Luckily we had clear track and we're able to merge in. Let's go ahead and get back to the right lane here. This kind of feels like a national park. If uh, you were to make a national park out of something, this may be, you know, a lot of hiking trails, climbing trails, that sort of thing. Looking really cool. Nice big rocks. You can definitely tell that they've taken their time and put in a lot of new assets for each additional state. It helps uh, justify the cost and that's one thing that I don't know that about what they're going to do. Are they going to release state packs in the future? Um, it, it'll definitely take a long time and, oh, there's a broken down vehicle on the left. Sorry, Mr. Station Wagon, I was watching the broken down vehicle. All right, we're going on through here. We've got plenty of space because we kind of cut off the Griswolds there on their family vacation. Maybe they're going to Vegas, but if you're going to Vegas, you're going the wrong way, buddy. You need to be going west. I wonder how many people have gotten confused on their road trip and just went the complete wrong way. Not counting Dumb and Dumber, of course. That may be cool um, to sort of recreate that drive that Dumb and Dumber did from Providence, Rhode Island, and you're trying to get to uh, Aspen, Colorado. And right before you get to Colorado, you end up turning the wrong way and going back to Nebraska. <laughs> and you drive almost a sixth of the way across the country in the wrong direction. Now we don't have enough money to get to Aspen. We don't have enough money to get home. We don't have enough money to eat. We don't have enough money to sleep. Then you just have to dig yourself out of the hole. And if you don't get that reference, hooey. All right, looks like we're going to be turning south here. Historic Route 66. It's almost like when you get on Route 66, you want to start blasting life as a highway. Interesting interchange here. I don't know if we're on 66. Oh, geez. Spit us out. 50 miles an hour. Yep. Slow that right down. I'm sure there's a police officer ready and willing to go. And we've got a pretty tight turn here. 35 miles an hour here. Interesting how... It, uh, it just spits us onto like this country road or this little town road. But there we go, South 54 is where we're headed. Let's go ahead and make the turn. It looks like it's going to get into a two lane highway. Interesting indeed with a 55 mile an hour speed limit, not bad. I'm glad we're not carrying a heavy haul or like a wide load, something that'll stick out like that. We just got a little um, gooseneck trailer and a, a shipping container full of car parts. 
So here we are on 54. This definitely feels different than the highway. Rocks near the side. It feels like if you have to do a number one or a number two, you just kind of pull over on the side of the road here. No one's going to see you. I do like this uh, small town feel that you get uh, right off the highway. You know, you, you turn off the highway, you take a little, um, or you get off the interstate, and you take a little highway here, and oh, there's a little rest stop here, but we don't need it. Looks like someone's a uh, little farm here. Thank you for not going my way, tour bus. You would have slowed me down. But yeah, this, this looks like uh, pasture land. Maybe have a ranch out here. Got a rest area over here with a broken down truck. Kind of like a, a junkyard off to the side. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable sleeping. Oh, you cheeky dump truck. Going down roads that we can't possibly go down. It kind of sounds like a motivational poster. Oh, dump truck. You go down roads I can't possibly follow. <laughs> don't follow the dump trucks, ladies and gentlemen. That That's the, the long and short of that. All right, so we're gonna be catching this semi here. Um, we're on a curve, so I don't wanna pass him. Yeah, it kinda looks like we have some oncoming, plus we have a left turn coming up anyway, and maybe a small town. So we'll, uh, we'll mind our P's and Q's here. Going to Vaughn, and left is Fort Sumner. Hey, we might need to check out Fort Sumner. Never been there, but, ah, you. I figured you would. Interesting enough, this way station looks to be right in front of us, and indeed, uh, there's the way station shack right in front of us. I feel for the uh, person pulling guard duty there. Kind of seems like it's uh, a dead end road, you know. Trucks come from this uh, two way highway. We'll be clear on the left here after this white car. Let's go ahead and get across. Coming across, Mr. Texaco. Thank you so much. That was cheeky as all get out, but we had to force our way. Luckily, there's going to be a right turn on our way out of here, so we don't have to worry about crossing traffic again. Hello, Mr. Security Guard. We are good, yes? 54,000 pounds. Thank you. All right, this looks like a turnaround. Nice of them to design this uh, way station nice and trucker friendly. It would suck if you had to back out onto the main road and be like, okay, thanks for stopping. Now have fun reversing out onto the highway. I could see some cheeky bugger doing that. All right, out we go. We do have a stop sign. Maybe we can roll it. Cops don't care too much about rolling stop signs here. Maybe because they put in California first. Oh. Got that Kenworth a-coming. Come on, now. There we go. After the Camaro. Nice car, good sir. All right, 70 speed limit here. We've joined an actual interstate. Or a bigger highway, at least. We can get up to 70. Two hours and 38 minutes away from our destination. That means we should see Roswell shortly, I would assume. Not 75, but we'll definitely take 70. And a nice wide open expanse here. I know I've said it before, but this is uh, how the Wyoming DLC would look. Two lane highway and a lot of land out there. Um, with not much nearby the highway, at least in my experience driving across Wyoming myself. We're halfway tired, but I think we've done more than half our journey. We shouldn't have to stop and rest. It, I don't think this is an express delivery. Let me actually see here. It's expected Monday between noon and 7, so it needs to be there in 7 hours. Yes, indeedy, we cannot sleep. We have miles to go before we sleep, in the words of Robert Frost. So yeah, two hours we'll be getting there on time. Fuel is looking a little bit dodgy. Let me go to my info panel and see my distance. 219 miles. Okay, we're gonna make it, especially if we uh, can cruise some highway. That is not bad. 73 gallons, 
351 in the tank. We are good in the hood. The more highway we can drive, the better, for sure. It's a shame we can't draft up behind this uh, dump truck in front of us, you know. Just sort of get off the gas and let her cruise. Here's someone's farm out here in the middle of nowhere. Good luck getting home from that. It looks like you're in the middle of nowhere. And I don't know off the top of my head what the map scale is, what each mile in the game is actually in real life. But if it's like a 20 to, to 1 ratio where one mile in the game is 20 miles in real life, that poor farmer, he has to drive like 50 or 60 miles either way to get there. Oh, it was must have been a reflection. Out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw like a, a dust devil or something like that. All right, free and clear highway. I'm not going to argue, and it always feels good to pass a Prius. See a Prius. Although usually when that happens in this game, there's a right turn coming up or an exit that I have to take that I have to say, nope, just kidding, and then get back in line. Starting to get to a little bit more civilization. I don't know if this overpass is actually a road or if it's uh, just modeled. Okay, that tent right there, that... Uh, that hangar, or whatever that is, that reminded me of the tents that we lived in or near um, LSA Anaconda in Iraq. Those, like, massive tents, like, almost the size of a football field-sized tents, like, pretty, pretty big, pretty big stuff. And this is indeed a highway. So pretty cool stuff where we saw the sign for Roswell not too awful long ago, so we should be coming into Roswell shortly, I would think. We're starting to see a little bit more civilization, more telephone poles and the like. There's a Walmart there. I imagine we are going to start getting a reduced speed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce my speed. Yes, indeed, a 55 mile an hour speed limit. 55 mile an hour coming to a stop sign. But we are in Roswell. The truth is out there, my friends. The truth is out there. And I know the truth, we timed that light pretty well, truth be told. We should be passing through Roswell pretty quick though. Nice pedestrian bridge. Kind of just taking in the sights, sightseeing a bit. Pretty cool apartment complex there. Of course, no trip can be complete without a donut shop. Hello, FedEx, good sir. So yeah, this is uh, this is Roswell. I imagine the economy is 99% alien hunters. Ooh, the New Mexico Military Institute. I am not familiar with the New, Milita New Mexico Military Institute. The New Military Mexico Institute, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, this is a pretty built up place, I do have to say. I imagine since the 50s, Roswell has been booming. Although you would think people would be tired of the whole alien thing, and if you're a resident of Roswell, I'm sure you're tired of hearing about it. Everyone who comes in like, have you seen an alien? You're from Roswell, certainly this is uh, where the aliens hang out, and you're like, no, I just go to work, leave me alone. The Sun West Center here. This is a pretty nice place. We're burning fuel sitting here, unfortunately, and we've got a lot of stoplights to go through. If we're lucky, we can catch the stoplights all green, maybe? Would certainly be nice. Hopefully we don't get a low fuel warning. Racing up to a red light. But isn't this city driving, though? You take off and then you hit the next red light. Then you take off and you hit the next red light. Then you take off, etc. 25 mile an hour speed limit now. We're getting to the uh, to the heart of Roswell, it seems. And I don't care, I'm going through this light. Oh, I was gonna say, that dump truck swung out. I'm like, oh, we're gonna have a crash. But to no avail. Yes, go, 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 go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Yes. Now, was that the last stoplight in town? I hope so. 
And it looks like we're continuing on through, but I don't want this right lane to end. So I don't want to jump out there and then have to just get back in line. Looks like it's a two-laner. All right, let's go. Probably going to eat my words here. We're speeding just a touch. Once we get out of the city limits here, 55 miles an hour. Drop it down, and here we go. Back up to 70, so through Roswell. There is one more town between us and our destination, one hour away, 52 miles. And thank you, Bridget, for your $6,000. I definitely appreciate it. Oh, and Bridget is leveled up. Outstanding. Speaking of the leveling, uh, I don't know how many states it's going to take for the long distance three to no longer be adequate. I guess it depends on where your home garage is because the drivers do shuttle runs back and forth from their home base to a city and then they try to find a job back to that city. So I don't think they're going to be going over a thousand miles, but it probably wouldn't hurt in a few states time to boost up the long distance. And by then I think all my drivers will be maxed out. Definitely the more I play and the more the drivers level up, then that's gonna be a thing of the past. Up more reduced speed, 55 miles an hour, coming into town into a 35. there's a look like a Russian fighter jet what are the Russians doing here in Arkesia I do not know it could have been an F4 Phantom though didn't get a really good look at it but I've got a feeling we're gonna be getting our fair share of red lights again as we pass through town it's kind of cool that it forces Dang it. it's kind of cool that it forces you through town so you can see so we've got a used car lot over here got a motel holiday inn okay okay I'm, I'm feeling you we got an auto zone here on the corner can't go wrong with an auto zone all right let's get rolling boys or is it the turn lane yes it's a turn lane I'm happy they added the turn lanes I think when that was the patch when they did the uh, expanded scale they added actual turn lanes which is very much appreciated especially in these crowded cities when you want to make a left and you were stuck in the left lane for miles because everyone was going straight now you can just hop on out there and get going all right back up to 35 hopefully we don't catch another red light the hotel artesia is that really a thing i do not know once it gets closer to the warning zombies ahead awesome is a uh, is Artesia known for zombies? Did they like film Walking Dead there or something? I'm not sure. I am not sure. That could have been an Easter egg that I am completely missing out on. Entirely possible. Move, Cadillac. Awesome. So this looks to be the last stoplight. Well, no, I kind of see an intersection back there. Happy cows. Happy cows make more milk or something like that. But that was cool, zombies ahead. That may be the thumbnail, because <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. All right, off we go. Oh, and take a look at that temperature, 98 degrees Fahrenheit. That is toasty. Let's see, would that be, uh, let's see, boiling is 212 on Fahrenheit. We're not quite halfway there yet, so maybe 42-ish Celsius, if my uh, conversion is up to speed, and it's probably not. I'm going. YOLO. Aha. Had to break the speed limit just a touch, but we got away with it. Last stoplight in town. I'll take it. So our next stop, 31 minutes away, is our final destination. We are leaving town and making our way. Not downtown and not walking fast. And we're certainly not homebound. I'm not from New Mexico. But as I was saying, once they get closer to the Midwest, we're talking uh, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee. That's where I'm going to really start noticing landmarks and being like, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Or they, uh, they had some artistic licensing done. 
But at the rate they're going, that's probably like 10 years away, unfortunately. Hopefully modders can do more than just a cross-country map of like, I know they did, they started off with one lane, and then for the cities, they just sort of copied and pasted the cities that were already there to give you a place to go. I mean, the map scale was there, for sure. Um, but, you know, things like this, hopefully artists can, or modders can, can come through and make convincing uh, landscapes like this along the journey. So when you drive through it, it's like, I know I'm in Texas. I know I'm in Missouri. You know, they're just little hints, each and every state that uh, give it away. All right, another reduced speed. Down to 55 and probably 35 if I had to make a wild guess. How did I guess? All right, we're in Carlsbad. I've heard of the Carlsbad Caverns. Not sure if that's uh, this Carlsbad or not. I don't want to be like Tommy Boy and be like, hey, you've got Columbus and that's a one day deliver, or that's a, you have it marked as a two day delivery. That's because it's going to Columbus, Georgia, not Columbus, Ohio. Why don't you go to college for another eight years and study a map or a globe? Whatever suits your fancy. I probably screwed that line up. Burgers, hot dog sandwiches, pizza diner. So basically your fatty foods. Whatever you want that's got fat and grease and all kinds of goodness, we have it here. Now I'm not sure if my drop off is on the right or the left. It kind of looks like the left. Let me see if I can get over. All right, this truck will go by and this car will let me in. Thank you so much, good sir. And I think it's just, yeah, here's the Tesla motors right here. Getting to this turn lane so we don't upset traffic and in we go to the Tesla dealer. And where do you guys want it? All right, you want it right there it looks like there's some runoff area right here next to the service station. So we'll swing it wide, sweet chariot. Oh yeah, we're gonna have plenty of room to back up. This is a pretty forgiving uh, destination. Kinda sucks that we're on blindside though. But we'll do what we can. All right, we'll back it up pretty straight here. All right, let's cut it now. Easy does it. Hopefully we don't slam into a building. Almost. We should be able to fit that in there nice and gentle. Easy and respectable like. We clipped the building a bit, but that's with our truck. We're the owner, we can pay for it. Nope. We missed it just a touch. I don't think we're gonna bring it back around in time. No? Okay. We get to pull forward just a little bit, but overall, not a bad reverse. Certainly not like that last one. That is faux show. Nope, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Now we'll have to bring it back the other way, I think. All right, if you're happy with that, I'm happy with that. Let's do it. Drop the trailer leg, let's get paid. 324 miles, six hours and 33 minutes. We made a little bit of money, but it's not about making money, but it is about leveling up. What is our next skill? I think the fragile cargo is the way to go uh, where we don't have deliveries past a thousand miles, I don't think. Uh, long distance will be more important for us whenever we want to go from, say, this bottom corner of New Mexico all the way to the uh, northwest corner of California. So I'll take the fragile cargo. Fuel? Ah, just drive right. But yeah, if we were to make a point to go from where we are to Hornbrook, let's say, yeah, 1,500 miles. So I think my next... But I mean, what kind of a trip would that be? That is nuts. What is our longest trip that we have in the entire job market? All right, let's go by distance. 
route length. And that is the other way. So Roswell to Oxnard, it's how many miles? It's $40 a mile. I mean, that's pretty, pretty expansive. Let's just, uh, just for giggles, let's see how long it is from here to Oxnard. Then we need to see if we do need to level up. Oh, that's like 999 miles, so yeah. Now that New Mexico is added, it would be beneficial, at least for me, to get that longer distance. But for our, for the sake of the video, you know, I'm, I'm sticking around New Mexico. We're not gonna be doing anything crazy. But yeah, that is going to do it for me and this episode of American Truck Sim. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a good run. We got to see some cool things, went through a couple new towns. We'll see what's here in Carlsbad to pick up. We have a few cities in the map that we haven't seen. Uh, Hobbs, Clovis, Tucumcari, Raton, Santa Fe, Farmington, or we could work south, Alamogordo, and Las Cruces. Not sure, but we'll, we'll try to hit up all of these. And you can see the, uh, the broken highway. A lot of roads that we haven't seen. But that's going to do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen of, of American Truck. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next American Truck Sim video. Take care.